got two really cool tips for you when you're doing your sled drag to maximize your time. Now there's occasion I might cut off the camera here and you'll notice that I'm not using the exact type of sled that you would test with. You would test on a much smaller sled that's ground level. But this is a great demonstration that you might not always have the exact equipment to train with at your gym that actually you're going to have with testing day. But the trick still works. So watch this. The first thing we're going to talk about is how to turn the sled in as minimal time as possible. Here's what you want to do, here's what you don't want to do. So the white spray bottle to my right, right over here, that's your indicator of your line. So the sled has to cross that line. Once the sled crosses the line, here's what I want to do. I don't want to go around and pull the sled like a circle. What I want to do is cut a close angle to the sled. This will work with the testing sled too. Watch this. I cut a close angle, so I stay as close as I can to it, keep the handles tight to my body, turn, and already I'm in the drag with tension on the straps. Now look where the sled ended up there relative to the line. See how much ground I already covered? Get a mental picture of that. Now watch this. Here's the way most people do it. Most people will cross the finish line, or the halfway mark, Boom! my cross. Now what they'll do is they'll go wide, 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 wide. Look at all the time I'm taking. And by the time I square up the sled, all I did was just take a lot of time pivoting it just to get my groove. And I didn't even cover as much distance as I, I did that little tight move. Let me show you again. So don't go wide. You're basically going to walk right past the sled like this. Versus around. So I cross the line. Boom. Right here. Look, keep the handles tight. That way I never lose slack. Tension on the sled. And I'm already... Moving. Now, second tip has to do with your body. Body angle. Don't get low like this. Nothing wrong with that when you're working out and you're going to fire your quads up. You want to save energy on testing it. So, slight elbow bend, lean into it, and let your body weight counterbalance and help you a bit as you drag the sled. You'll save energy that way. One more thing. Let's say, so again, this marks my finish line. I have to get the back of that sled. This is a bigger sled you'd have on test day. I have to get the back of that sled across the finish line. So as I'm going, here, here, here. What can I do to make it a little quicker? I can just do a row, watch, just pull it to get that last bit before I do my tight little turn. So again, if my hand is the sled, instead of going around, go like that, straight next to it, keep tension on those straps. Because the more you go from slack to tension, the more it's going to pull you off balance. So the more you can keep tension on those straps, the more control you have over that sled. Combine that with the body lean I talked about, subtle bend in the elbows, don't get real low, allow your body weight to counterbalance and help you pull the sled. Push with your legs, and if you want to get a little umph, especially on the finish line, boom, just do that little row to help drive that sled across. That's how you maximize your time, at least during the sled portion.